compound continuous formula looks like this. You have an amount based on a principal investment times E, which is 2.7 something. It's a constant like pi. It's not a variable. Times E to the R percentage uh, of your interest times T, the number of years that you're doing it. So let's plug the information that we're in, uh, that we're given into the formula. We start with a $3 candy bar. That's our principal. And we want it to triple, so we want it to equal $9. So that's what, it's, what it looks like if you plug everything in. Uh, just note that I used the decimal form of the percentage when I plugged it in for R. T is the thing I don't know. Uh, P is the starting amount, so I start with $3. I want to know how long it's going to take to triple. Uh, so, got an equation to solve. Variables in the exponent it means we need a logarithm. But first, let's divide both sides by 3 because that 3 is just sitting there like a sitting duck. 3 times E and can be undone by doing 3 divided by 3. So when we do that, we get uh, 3 equals e to the 0 0.05 t. Now you got to get t by itself, and if it's stuck in the exponent position, use a log. And it doesn't matter what log you take. So I'm going to use natural log because I remember, because uh, I'm a nerd, uh, that if you're taking a, a logarithm that has a base of the thing that you're that is being raised to a power basically uh, a log base e of e is going to cancel out we'll do that out here okay so that's what it looks like if you take a natural log of both sides now these are inverses of one another so we're going to get 0 0.05 t when those cancel out but the left side's still a little bit yucky because natural log three that's a decimal value but your last step to get t by itself is just to divide by 0 0.05 because that's being multiplied to t. So real quick with a calculator, and I'll get us the amount of years. So the calculator tells me about 22 years.